Unfortunately today, it's gonna be a little bit of a different day because I am completely alone. Now, if you're a long time subscriber around here, you know that in pretty much every single video, we've always got friends, neighbors, uh, other bus lifers. There's always people in my videos. But today, uh, unfortunately, we're in quarantine. So one of my friends in the last few days actually tested positive for COVID, um, and he was actually over the house hanging out with all of us. So in order to protect the community around us and our neighbors, uh, we're actually gonna go into a lockdown, which pretty much means I'm building alone. Um, but bus builds don't stop and they don't care if we're in quarantine. Uh, so pretty much I'm gonna be installing the water system here by myself today, trying to get the water tank in, water pump, water accumulator, and all those different lines. Uh, the good news is, is Rachel, my sister, wasn't exposed. Um, so she can actually run to the store for me. So I'm actually gonna need some parts. So she's gonna be stopping by to grab the camera and grab my parts list. And then uh, she's gonna run to the store. It's gonna be really weird building by myself. This might be the first video on the entire bus build. I'm alone. I got all the parts that we're gonna be installing right here. Uh, we're not actually gonna be able to put the water inlet to the exterior of the bus, obviously, because it's snowing. It's like 10 degrees and we can't cut a hole in the bus. So much snow. Uh, but the water would be going from here into the tank. We're gonna install the tank. And then we got lines going from here to our filter. <laughs> and then from the filter, water pump, water pump, accumulator, accumulator, eventually into the heater system, water heater, off to the shower, off to the sink. Um, but what I just did was laid it all out so I can get the parts list for Rachel. Um, so I know Rachel's gonna be on her way pretty soon to come pick up the camera and this parts list. So Rachel, uh, when you see this video, don't worry if you don't find everything. I just wanna say thank you for even trying. These parts can be really confusing. All these like you know, plumbing fittings, like half inch NPSM fitting and three eighths NBT fitting. And I know you don't know what those are and that's okay, do your best. If you come back with even one part, I'll be happy. So. Uh, Thank you. But with that said, uh, the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is putting the water tank in. So I gotta go cut a hole in the back of the cabinet to get this guy to fit, and then we can start uh, getting the rest put on in. Okay, so we got the tank in its location. Uh, and now I can put all the water pump and everything underneath here, which will be the sink cabinet. And then I can run my plumbing through this hole right here, which will then take me into the shower. Uh, so this will be where the tank goes. And there's one thing actually I wanted to mention now that I got the tank in. One thing you may notice is that the water tank's right there and there's nothing over here yet. Now, the water tank is a 40 gallon water tank. So at eight pounds a gallon, that's about when it's full, like 320 pounds of weight right over there on top of the wheel well. Now, I also wanna equalize the weight over here so that when we're driving down the road, we're not like having this off balance bus going on. So in future videos, and if you guys stick around for when we uh, you know, get this side all built out, we're gonna be putting all of our batteries, our solar system, everything on this side, and that they're actually gonna be equalizing the weight out on top of the wheel wells. So you gotta imagine that, you know, in terms of weight distribution, when this school bus was originally a school bus in a school district, you know, 320 pounds of water on one side, 300 and something pounds of batteries on the other side. I mean, weight distribution is something you wanna think about, but 320 pounds, I mean, that's like, if you picked up a bunch of kids on the way to school and five of them sat on that side and then none of them sat on this side, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but you wouldn't want like 20 kids on that side and like none on this side. You know, just something to think about, not something to worry too much about. Well, now we got that part in. Uh, I actually now have to get this camera to Rachel. So I got to set this up, uh, get some Clorox wipes and hand sanitizer, put it outside so she can actually come get the camera and then go get those parts for me. And then I'm going to keep working on the water system. Hi, Michael. 
Rachel. You're stuck inside. All right, guys, I just got to Michael's house, picked up the list, had a quick explanation of what it is I'm looking for. Um, socially distanced, of course. Gotta be safe. So, let's get this on the road and let's head to the store. It is like a winter wonderland here. So pretty. I made it to the right aisle. We are in the plumbing. Woo -woo. And I have a giant wall of things to look through to find the two things that we're looking for today. So, wish me luck. I searched through every single one of these, called Michael, asked a few questions. Unfortunately, this store does not have the parts that we're looking for. So I'm gonna head to a different store. Um, so let's go. Well, I got the tank in and I got all these supports in for the bottom of it so that it can sit nice and level. It won't bubble when it's full or anything. Uh, so now I think what I want to do is just sand out these edges, make sure this is all finished off. And then I got to get this tank completely mounted in finally, get it secured. Uh, and then I got to build out the inside of this cabinet, which you can't see my hands, but I got to build out the inside of this cabinet uh, so that it kind of hides the water tank. And then the upper part up here is still usable. So. Uh, Getting somewhere. Alone. <laughs> it's kinda lonely. I know you guys are all here though. Back at the house. Oh, there he is. I got your stuff. Don't come any closer. Got your stuff. Just throw it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, I got the water tank and you can look from the window. Ooh, let's go see. Yeah, look from the window. It took a little bit of time, but I got the water tank placed in here. Uh, I got my front cap cut so that it kind of just finishes it out. Um, I just didn't want to leave the rough edges, and when you open the cabinet, it really doesn't matter, but it, it does matter. I don't know. <laughs> but it also keeps my lines really tight right here so I can run them all the way through here. Uh, and now the piece and the cover that I cut here, uh, we can place over top. So the last thing I gotta do is get the tank straps in so I can get this mounted and secured just in case you know, you're know you driving, you hit the brakes, it's not gonna shake or move around too much. And then, uh, yeah, this cabinet's gonna be, the inside of this cabinet's gonna be done. Then we can start putting in the water system, playing around with the electrical right there, and uh, just keep moving. So 
got the tank completely strapped in. I put this front strap in because obviously if I hit the brakes, the tank's gonna wanna go forward. So I wanted to make sure that it had something to kind of resist just in case. Uh, but now I gotta get all these components put in. What I think I'm gonna do, I was just laying it out a little bit, is line everything up right up here along this top edge. And then I can run all the plumbing nicely on the uh, back walls because I wanna try to maximize as much storage underneath here as possible because I still have to put the sink in eventually, the drain lines down, all the inlet lines. Um, so there is gonna be quite a bit of components in here, but the maximizing of storage down in this area is gonna be great because otherwise I only have that drawer, that area, this top area right here, but then I have all these upper cabinets uh, and the one up there. So, you know, it is a small bus, so I don't exactly need like a massive amount of storage, but we still wanna think about it and maximize as much as we can. Uh, so I gotta get these components right here, starting to get screwed in so we can get the plumbing run, and uh, yeah, see what it's gonna look like. Try to make it look as clean as we can. I kind of wanted to get them in. Right here I put a T in, because this is gonna be eventually where it goes to my sink uh, for the hot water and cold water. I uh, left a blank space right here, because I'm actually gonna be, this is where we're gonna be putting the electric water heater. Uh, I don't use a lot of hot water, so I'm actually just gonna use an electric one, because I mean, it's gonna use so little power uh, for when I ever do use it. Um, honestly, for the last four years when I lived on that bus, nah, you can kind of see them in the back on that bus, uh, I probably used the hot water like a couple times, so. Uh, hot water wasn't a huge thing to me, but I did want to at least put a little heater in. So I'm gonna put a little electric heater here. Uh, and then it's gonna be in the back corner and then goes all the way through the different systems. The only problem is, I don't know where I put them. Um, I have the wrong fittings. So because I can't go anywhere, uh, I'm kind of stuck. So I can't finish hooking all of this up right now until I'm able to go to the store. But you can kind of see what it's gonna look like in terms of like the water system. Um, I just have to get the filter, which will kind of go up in this area. But in this case, you can kind of tell, I think I maximized my storage in here because everything's kind of tucked in the back, uh, tucked up against the side. So, you know, I'm still gonna have some good room for the sink base, uh, the drain lines, and then uh, there'll still be some good storage inside of this cabinet. So one of the things that I do want to get done is just trying to get whatever lines I can run now to get done because I just want to keep moving forward in whatever way I can. Uh, so I can still get these bottom lines ready to kind of get installed and then I just can't actually connect the components, um, which is unfortunate, but you know, I'm still waiting on the water heater and uh, you know, still got to get those parts. So I'm going to get some of these lines done, uh, kind of tie it up and see where we end up. Got the shower lines at least, you know, ran up to here. Uh, still need the diverter, so that can't be finalized. Uh, we got the line in right there that will go up to the filter once I get those correct fittings. But, you know, since I'm alone in quarantine and I can't go anywhere, uh, I think this is as far as I can go. So, you know, we got most of the water system in, got the tank in. I'm really happy with how much actually, you know, we were able to get done. Uh, you know, not as much fun as normal for me at least, you know. I know that we got to spend the day together, go through the build process, uh, but it's definitely gonna be nice to have some other people around and, uh, you know, just uh, more people always makes more fun on the build. And, uh, you know, we don't do this to do it alone. We do it to uh, be with others and, you know, make it about a community. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to be able to get Dalton and Luke and Rachel all back and, uh, 
you know, maybe even Dale in the summer, who knows. But with that said, uh, you know, it's been a great day on the bus build. Thank you for watching. Uh, just remember that if you guys are interested, you can subscribe, check out other build videos, and I just want to say thank you to everyone over on Patreon. So if you're interested in joining that community, uh, you can check out the link in the description. We got most of the water system in, and uh, hopefully I can get to the store pretty soon.